President Russell M. Nelson of the Church of Jesus Christ Latter-day Saints has traveled for the first time since the pandemic to rededicate the Washington, D.C. temple. Religion specialist Carol Makita is there and reports it was a historic day with all three members of the church's first presidency there. The Washington, D.C. temple has been a landmark in our nation's capital for nearly 50 years. Through renovation and the pandemic, it has been closed for more than four years. Today, thousands of Latter-day Saints filled the temple grounds to be part of the rededication. With President Russell M. Nelson and his counselors, President Dallin H. Oaks and President Henry B. Eyring. The original dedication of the Washington, D.C. temple took place in 1974, and President Nelson was here by special invitation. I was at the first dedication at the request of President Kimball to serve as the doctor available if needed for any of the general authorities. I will always remember the feelings in the room as President Kimball dedicated that temple. The temple's different and we're different, but I still felt the spirit of President Kimball with me. Because of its prominence along Washington's Beltway, nearly 350,000 visitors toured the temple during its open house. Each room refurbished and renewed. Church leaders believe it has blessed and will bless so many. You know, so much of what happens in the temple is symbolic, but there is one thing that is absolutely literal, and it's written on the outside of every single temple, House of the Lord. Church members are overjoyed about the rededication. Carol Anderson and her parents were here for that first dedication in 1974. My dad reached over after the hallelujah and put his hand on my hand and just tied that eternal family that we are. I was just overwhelmed with family. The thought of the eternalness of, of what this all means to us. In just days, the doors of the Washington, D.C. temple will open for what Latter-day Saints consider to be sacred work. Carol Makita, KSL 5 News, Kensington, Maryland.